Who are your favorite directors? Uh, okay, besides the obvious, Scorsese, Clint Eastwood, uh, M. Night happens to be one of my favorite directors. Um, Quentin Tarantino, absolutely love Quentin Tarantino. Uh, right now, on top of the list, uh, I'd have to say Nicholas Winding Refn. Um, a little bit out there, a little bit off. Uh, it's kind of the direction I want to go, so um, he's got to be my favorite right now. What is a fun fact about yourself? Fun fact. Um, let's see. Fun fact. 1,000 years ago, I actually used to be a bodybuilder. Took first place in a contest a long time ago. Now, it's a little bit different. I just like to eat. What universal themes are explored in the film? Uh, love. Um, boy gets girl. Boy loses girl. Boy loses another girl. Boy loses all the girls. Um, Love story, though, kind of wraps back around, um, kind of sees his faults and, and kind of tries to capitalize on those. What makes a film great for you? And are there certain qualities that make a film better to you? Okay, what makes a film great for you? Um, always love a twist. Um, a little bit dark. Um, the unexpected. Something you don't see, something uh, that just kind of gives you that wow, that it moment. Um, stories, always stories first. Um, that's what always makes it better, stories first. How would your best friends describe you? Loyal? Um, kind of tell it like it is. Uh, I don't hold back. I'll tell you I'm going to tell you like it is, and I actually do. What about the script caught your attention when you first read it? The story, characters, or something different. What caught my attention was um, as I'm reading it, I'm, I'm very animated. So um, I'm, I'm, if I see something like, you know, what was that? Or, or I was like, I can't believe he did that. Um, I'm saying it as I'm reading it. One thing that caught my attention with this is reading the script. Um, I always think of what's called water cooler conversations. So the next day you see the film, uh, people gather around the water cooler and they're like, I can't believe he did this. or can you believe she did this and stayed with him or so that when it creates that kind of conversation um that's what i'm always looking for and, and that script this script absolutely did that for me what do you look for when looking for a project a challenge it's always about a challenge um actually in in, in directing this script this is something a little bit different than what i would normally do uh as i mentioned nicholas winding Refn is, is one of the directors that i would like to to kind of follow um, and he's really out there really dark not everyone's cup of tea so in in this project it was it was a challenge for me something maybe as far as connection lost connection it was it's not something i'm very familiar with so the challenge challenge just kind of make helps me rise to the top when will the film be released uh i believe we're looking at this year 2018 probably sometime around August, September. I think that's what we're shooting for right now. What are some qualities in yourself and others that make one suitable for film directing? Uh, one of the qualities is you have to have vision. That's the, the top quality. Um, on working on this film, I worked with Philip the writer, so I knew he had a vision and I wanted to keep to that vision. In fact, that was one of the first things we spoke about um, was I want to keep your vision and just show just kind of with my direction, kind of put a little bit of a, a you know, just a twist on it, a little bit um, as far as stylistically. Um, we got to have vision. From reading that script, you have to start picturing everything in your mind. The characters, the, uh, the, the rooms, the locations. Um, yeah, vision, vision is going to be one of, the, one of the biggest qualities. And, and you'll know that right away. Um, whether you're watching TV and you're kind of reformatting the way you want to, whether it's a movie and, and you're saying, you know, oh, I would have done it this way or, you know, what if we added this? Um, that's going to be one of the biggest qualities you're going to have as far as directing. It's going to help you along the way. What do you do personally to prep for a scene? Okay. Um, one of the things that I actually do before I get to set, uh, Going back to Nicholas Winding Refn. So he did a film Drive and the soundtrack itself. So when I'm headed to set, I, I put that in, put on my headphones. It just kind of gets me in that mood. It kind of just sets the tone of, of what I want to do. So um, that's that's kind of a little 
secret there. Who in the show is most like their character and who is the least and why? All right, I'm gonna say myself for my cameo for the least because I play a bartender and I have no idea what I was doing and I don't really even drink, so I was just kind of washing glasses. Who in the show is the most like their character? Let's go with, uh, let's see. We can go with Duke, um, who was played by Andrew Jackson. Uh, he was intense. So on, on camera, he was intense, but in person, he's kind of intense too. He just kind of brings that intensity with him. So uh, he did a great job, uh, just was natural and just, you know, he nailed it. All right, what do you think the biggest surprise about the filmmaking process would be to an outsider? Um, for anyone that's doing film, feature films, short films, one of the, especially when it's a small cast and crew, unpaid, um, first timers, um, biggest surprise is going to always be scheduling. Uh, as far as getting your cast and crew on the same page, most of us have day jobs um, or go to school. You're gonna find that it's it's, it's a difficult task, uh, and then when that's all set and done, then if it's an outside shot, you're dealing with weather and the elements, so that's gonna be a big surprise. The As far as the amount that's actually filmed, it could be just a couple of minutes worth of uh, film, uh, which can take hours to actually film. Uh, you're gonna find that you could be on eight hours, 10 hours, we've had some long days, and it could be seven minutes worth of actual footage, so. Yeah, it's uh, one of the most surprising things that you're gonna find. Are you single? Uh, let's see. Yes, very single. Whoever's asking, let me know. Did you go to film school? Great question. Um, I did not go to film school. Uh, for me, getting involved with this, uh, I didn't know it existed. I didn't know there was avenues to get involved in film. Um, so I much appreciate people that have gone through film school, um, just it's put the work in. And I haven't. Uh, so sometimes I, I just want to take a step back and just make sure that I'm doing the craft correct because I did not go to film school and all the others did. Um, there's a comment by Quentin Tarantino that I didn't go to film school, I went to film. So my experience is just many, many years of being a movie buff. What do you love about directing? Good question. Uh, the vision. I know I'm repeating myself with this, but but having that vision, having something handed to you um, that's not your script, and then you've got to take it and consider the actors, consider the writers, uh, consider the, the person's vision, uh, where it came from originally, working with them, and be able to put your own light on it. Uh, it's one of my favorite parts about directing is just taking that vision, making sure you're going from step A to step Z and everything in between and just making sure in the end everything kind of comes together. Um, working with the cast and crew as well. Everyone's, everyone's a team and that, that teamwork, um, if you got good people, it can't be beat. What is going to surprise people about this film? Um, I can't give away any surprises, but what's going to surprise people is you're gonna be able to connect with the characters. Um, to sum it up, it's a it's about a character that has a hard time connecting with with people, um, whether it's the girl, whether it's it's family. Um, he tries to cope, and he tries to bring everything together, and he tries to to give back. He tries to whatever he felt he wasn't getting, he tries to to learn, evolve, and in the end, um, he just wants to be able to. To connect it's really all about connection have you ever directed anything before good question first full feature uh, film uh, as far as directing I have uh, co-directed on a couple of short films um, so yeah but first full feature what is a guilty pleasure of yours food of course um, also, there's just those times as far as like as films concerned. Um, I like twists. I like turns. I like films that make you think. Uh, I like films that you actually have to pay attention to together, whether it's a thriller and you have to gather clues. But guilty pleasure is just watching those films. Maybe it's a sitcom that you just don't have to think about. You just sit back. You take it for what it's worth. 
get a laugh or two. Big guilty feature. Guilty pleasure. During this film, did any other films come to mind for inspiration? Or did you try and keep this film as fresh as possible? For this film, uh, as fresh as possible. Um, I didn't take any other films into consideration um, while doing this. In fact, if anything, I tried to derail from um, the Hallmark type story. Um, you know, so I wanted to kind of keep it a little bit fresh, kind of get away from that a little bit and try to try a couple of different things and, and, and hopefully you'll be able to connect with it as well. Who is your favorite singer? Good question. Easy answer. Luther Vandross. What was your primary focus while filming the scenes? Uh, primary focus for me, um, I'd probably say the acting, as far as the acting. Um, not so much as far as the, the, the script itself. Uh, we kind of ad-libbed a little bit here and then, but, but acting. I want to see the emotion. I want to make sure we capture the emotions, the feelings, uh, the connections, the chemistry. Um, that had to be my primary focus. What is your favorite color? Blue, if we're not talking about film. If we're talking about film, we're talking about red filters all the way. Again, Nicholas Winding Refn. What is the biggest film you've worked on? Um, they, they've all been big. They've all been great. Uh, they all hold a special part of my heart. Um, whether it's the first short, whether it's the first promo that, I've, that we've done. Um, probably the biggest film I would have to say would be with the 48 day film festival uh, we did a couple of years ago called Legend Within and with that we had five different directors five different continents and each one of us had to film in our own locations across the, across the, the country um, and we all had to edit it together collaborate together uh, it all came together as, as one cohesive story so that's probably a lot of fun and uh, um, working with five different directors is very difficult, uh, but it all came together. That's probably to date the biggest film that we've worked on. What was challenging about bringing the sessions to life? Another good question. Challenging about bringing the sessions to life. Uh, just making sure the, the characters jumped off the page um, in reading the script. Um, I had in my mind, along with the writer who had it in his mind, a vision as how these characters were going to be played out, how they were going to interact with each other. Um, just making sure that what we had in our mind as reading the script and what we collaborated back and forth, um, that all that kind of came out on film. Um, sometimes I had to take a couple of takes to make sure that 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 it was brought to life. Um, so we wanted to make sure it, it portrayed this, the script, um, how it was written, and again, both not only uh, my vision and directing, but mainly Philip's uh, divi uh, vision as far as what he wrote. What emotion do you feel your film brings forth in viewers? Lots of different emotions. Um, it's gonna be a tug of war. Uh, there's gonna be you're going to feel a little sadness for the characters, uh, each at different times. Um, you're going to feel, you're going to root for one of the characters and then not root for the other character. Uh, so it's going to be kind of a, a whirlwind of emotions. Um, and hopefully at the end, we kind of bring it together where we're just leaving the audience happy. Uh, just, just kind of a feel good, a feel good emotion. That's, that's where we're going with it. And that was it for our questions. Uh, I want to thank you for all your questions. Hopefully um, I've answered them to your liking. And um, I am Bobby Pimentel, and I am the director for the feature film written by Philip Lane, The Sessions. Uh, please help support us. Please come out and see the film. Um, please follow us. Uh, anything we can answer, anything we can do, anything we can do to help you maybe achieving your goals as far as uh, the film industry itself. Uh, hopefully this could be a star for you. Thank you again.